Hey guys! Today's video is about the new adventure mode in Pixel Pets. Before we start, I just want to say you will probably want to watch until the end because there will be some cool stuff that we do. So uh, yeah, if you want to see the cool stuff, you watch through the end. So yeah, we're going to be talking about adventure mode today. Um, I also want to really quickly go over this whole thing here, the event trade-in. Anyway, event trade-in. Um, this is not what appears for everybody. I'm just in testing. This is not out yet. It's, it's It'll come out later, but I can't show you what that is. Okay, so I, I just noticed that people were asking about it in the one of the last videos, and it's just because I'm testing it. So, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um, today we're going to be talking about adventure mode, finally. I know you guys have been waiting, and... Yeah, it's it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna go over quite a few different things. I'm gonna give you guys some little facts that I know, um, information, how to play, things like that. And yeah, so to go to the adventure mode, you have to have your app updated to version 0.3.26, which is officially out for everybody. So you go through this door here, this was originally the AR mode door, but we switched it. So you go in here and it leads to adventure mode. I also want to let you guys know you can't enter unless you have one pets out. It can't be an egg either. You can't go in with just an egg. So this is the pet that I have, or pets. Um, the AR mode is not gone. It's through this little portal here. I can't show you because I'm on blue stacks, so it doesn't really work. But that will take you to the AR mode. It's not gone. It's just a little portal. And uh, the first thing you'll see is that you can move around by tapping, or if you're like me using PC, you can use your mouse to move around like this. This is your house, and the little white box will appear over it when you're near it. If you go away, it'll disappear. But if you go back, it'll appear again. And if you press it, it takes you back to your room. But we'll go back out here. Uh, so, before I show you guys the fishing spots, I'm actually gonna go up here. This is Trady Town. And this big button here will open the shop. You'll want to go here first, because if you don't go here first, um, you won't have a rod to fish with. It won't let you fish without a rod. And you'll see Lucky's here, all happy and cute. She says, or he, whatever it is, uh, welcome to Trady Town. We'll buy all your fish and your trash too. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Lucky is the operator of the shop. And you'll see that there's a selection of different rods you can choose. These ones you can watch ads for. So if you actually want to, you don't even have to pay anything to go fishing. It, it, you just get free rods every day, uh, as long as there's your daily reset. It, it refreshes, all of these refresh every day. Uh, it'll be at your reset. And your reset is 24 hours after you last claimed your reset the day before, by the way. Um, I am also going to quickly, well, I'm gonna buy all of these rods, but these ones are the ad rods. So I'm gonna quickly watch some ads and then the next time you see this, it'll be sold out. Because I don't want to put you through that. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Alright, so I have finished watching all of the ads and I got all of the rods. Each ad rod gives you uh, three rods, three basic rods. Which means I think you, you can watch five ads. So three times five. So it gives you 15 rods to watch all five ads. And then you get five um, stock of ten here. I'm going to buy all of them. So this means you get 50 basic rods for buying all of these. And there's so cute sounds. I don't know if you guys can hear it right now. I believe you can. I hope I adjusted the volume correctly. But whenever you buy it, Lucky purrs. And it's so cute. Alright, and then there's also good rods, which are slightly better than basic rods. Um, it kind of increases your chances at better fish. It's not the best rod, but it's also not the worst. It's like in the middle. And with this rod, you can also fish up a part or items like uh, accessories and things like that. 
You can't fish things like that up with basic rods. But good rods and up, you can get things like that. So we're going to get 30 good rods from this. And once it's 8 o'clock your time, a certain person will show up if your rods are sold out. Not all three of these have to be sold out. If you just buy all of these, for example, the good rods, and you click it again, he will still show up. As long as it's 8 o'clock. And he's here from 8 to, I believe it's 6 a.m. 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. And it's your time. It's based on your time. So let's say... I am... I'm using PST, and if it's 5 p.m. PST for me, people in the East Coast using EST, it'll be 8 o'clock for them because they're three hours ahead of me. They'll have Bandy, this this cool creature here, his name is Bandy, they'll have Bandy three hours ahead of me. So it's not at a like specific time for everybody, it's based on your local time. 8 o'clock your time is when he shows up, and 6 o'clock in the morning is when he leaves. So. Let's check out his shop. He's very sassy. Uh, he doesn't really care about you. <laughs> Maybe he does secretly, I don't know. Um, but I also want to talk about a cute little fact here. This is Bandy. Bandy is an aquatic uh, genet or genet or something like that. I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's an aquatic genet, I believe. And it's a very rare species. If you want to look it up, you'll get more information about it, but he's not a raccoon. Oh, also, he is um, gender fluid, so there's no specific gender or anything like that. I just say he because, I don't know, it feels right to me, so. You can call it whatever you want, though. So, Bandy. Not a raccoon, not a weasel, nothing like that. <laughs> Aquatic genet, or genet, or whatever. And this little guy, on the head is fleece which I believe is a sea bunny I could be wrong but I, I believe it's a sea bunny and that's his little friend so yeah anyway in his shop he will provide you with even more rods but the problem is yes he provides you with more but it costs a lot more. Like, if you pay for these, you're losing out on money if you don't get, I mean, anything good. Um, but you can get basic rods, good rods, and then there's a super rod. Super rods are the best type of rod right now. Um, they have really high chances of getting really cool fish and things like that. Uh, better chances of getting um, accessories parts, things like that. And he also has some parts in his shop. And I want to quickly mention, depending on the day of the week, you'll get certain types of parts. Um, I can't remember exactly which days give what, but I want to give an example of what I mean. So this might not be right, like the, the day might not be accurate for this, but I'm using it as an example. So let's say... Monday, Monday might have just only ears, only ears in the shop for this and Lucky's shop, I believe, the tradey town. Um, and then Tuesday would have like, I don't know, bodies only, that kind of thing. So it's based on the day of the week. And I believe weekends is just like all out random. I'm, I'm not really sure. I don't remember what days give what, but that's just an example of the different days so yeah <laughs> I hope that's understandable I'm not really sure how else to explain it but you can get certain things oh I also want to mention these little things here are shells these here I have a lot of them because I was testing them but yeah shells you get those for selling fish at Trady Town um, let's close him out really quick so you can sell things at Trady Town to Lucky Lucky may or may not eat your fish, but I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe they do, maybe they don't. Uh, but yeah, when you fish things up and your inventory gets full or it doesn't even have to be full, you can sell your fish and trash and whatever you fish up here and um, you get shells in return and that's the currency that you can buy things with. 
in here. And you can also exchange shells for coins and gems. There's sea boxes and lux sea boxes. Some of the items that appear in these will also appear up here. And there's the Vapros egg. And I designed this egg. There are... Well, I'll go over it later, but yeah. There's a Vapros egg too. So, you can sell things here. There will be a sell all button that shows up when you have things in your inventory. I'll show you in a little bit. And there's also a daily bonus, so every day there's something different here. It'll kind of give you a, a little bit of more of a bonus if you sell that specific thing. For example, today if I get axolotls, I can sell them for more than the usual price today. So, yeah. Also, look how cute it is. It's so cute. Okay. <laughs> uh, I want to say the axolotl was designed by Atlas. And if I remember who designed what, I will tell you, but some of them I don't really remember, so... Yeah. Also, really quick about, uh... Bandy. This guy. Bandy was designed by Gobsmacka. So, yeah. And Fleece, too. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Let's go fishing with the rods we bought. Finally, what you've been waiting for. I want to show you all the fishing spots. The first one is underneath your house, right here at the bridge. This is a little pond you can fish at. And then the second spot is underneath Trady Town here, and to the right of your home. It'll be right underneath this bridge if you go up here. That's the second trading, or not trading, a uh, fishing spot. And then if you go further down here, the third spot is right here in the ocean. And you'll also notice there's a tower here. This you can't really interact with yet, but it's called Q's Tower. Because this is the tower where Q lives, or doesn't live. Maybe, maybe Q lives there? I can't really, I don't know. <laughs> but I do know what it'll do in the future, or I have an idea anyway. But it's not ready yet, so you can't go here yet. You can just click it and nothing happens. But it'll have stuff later, so don't you worry. All right. I'm gonna go fishing at my favorite spot, which is this one, because it's closest to the store. So you'll go in here and you can select between your different rods. And you can also open your inventory. You can open your inventory on the normal uh, adventure mode screen as well. It doesn't have to be while you're in the fishing areas, but I decided I'd just go here anyway. Um, it'll show what you have in your inventory. It'll have information about the pets that you're using to fish because later on your um your pets level or not level um well maybe i i can't remember but i think your your pets level and then also like the personality will have something to do with fishing later or adventure mode stuff later it's not just a thing for show forever <laughs> it'll have benefits later so yeah. Anyway, let's go fishing. We're gonna use some basic rods first. I have a lot here just to show you guys. I'm not gonna use all of them because then that'd be a really really long video. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's go fishing. You just press into the water and it'll drop the rod and then a fishy will show up. And once it bites, then you press again and you get something up. I got a glass bottle. I believe the glass bottle was designed by Pixiel or Sketchy, one or the other. But yeah, so that's that. Um, let's try a good rod. Let's see what we get. We got a toad this time. And the toad was designed by Sketchy, I am pretty sure. So. Let's do a super rod and see what we get. It'll probably be really cool. And we got a carp, or as you Pokemon fans know, Magikarp. <laughs> um, the carp was designed by Atlas as well, the same as the, um, the Axolotl. Uh, let's use some super rods and see if we can get any, like, cool items or anything like that. Oh, 
another carp. <laughs> what are the chances? A sea crate. It's like a little snake. You see a little tongue here? Uh, I think that was also designed by Atlas. I'm not really sure. Well, let's go for another one. See what we get. You can tell that the chances of something good are a lot better with the super rod. Um, this one is not like one of the most uh, rich fishies. It's a sergeant fish or a sergeant. Um, I actually designed this one. I used to play uh, a lot of oceany games <laughs> when I was little, so I based a lot of mine off of the the games I played. Um, yeah, let's let's keep trying. Let's see. I want to see if we can get something good. An axolotl, cute little baby. This means because we have this, when we sell, we can sell this one for more, and I'll show you that after. Uh, sockeye salmon. Uh, I think cute wilderness designed this one. I believe. <laughs> it seems like I don't really know anything. <laughs> But I, I do know a lot of them, especially mine. Like, obviously I know that. Um, but yeah. You can probably tell already, this is a really passive- Oh, look at that! We got something! We got a part! Merham Body for Hamsters by Demonic Skittle. Yeah. You can fish up parts. How cool is that? I was surprised we got that so fast. <laughs> But hey, now it's there. And you can open your inventory, see what you got. The parts and the accessories will not show up here, by the way. It just goes straight to your um, closet or your parts inventory, things like that. Um, but this is what we've got so far. Alright, let's keep going. See if we can get something else cool. We got a fantail goldfish, and this was designed by Pixiel. Right, so I was saying, um, this mode is very relaxing and passive, very clearly. Like, you can spend hours just sitting here and fishing. The sea turtle, I think that was designed by Atlas. I believe. I'm pretty sure. The eel, also by Atlas, I think. There will be more rods later, by the way, for... Uh, different things. The bamboo shark. Um, I can't remember who made that one. I'm sorry, guys. Let's stop it there and let's go see what we can sell and how much we can get for it. So we go to the town and we press sell here. And you'll see that there's the sell all button now and you can sell all of these at once. But what you'll want to do is you'll check to see if you have the daily bonus thing first and you sell it here. You see you'll get extra shells for that. And then you press sell all, because if you press sell all without doing this first, then it'll sell for regular price in this. So always check for that daily bonus first. But yeah, let's sell all of them. And we got quite a bit of shells. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's, that's how fishing works. You can fish up cool stuff. And it's really awesome. <laughs> and I think you guys will really like it. Um, I'm not sure if I have any other, like, special information. So I guess I'll go on to the next part, which is we're going to get a Vaporose egg, and I want to talk about this egg really quick. Um, I designed it based off of a combination of the Pokemon Vaporeon, my favorite evolution, and, um, Gyarados. So, you'll see the Gyarados in, like, the wings and stuff, I think. More than likely. And what's special about these eggs is there are six different variations. So six different colors. They're all the same parts, but they're like different color palettes, depending on the egg that you get. They'll always be perfect, as you see here, but they'll have different uh, variations. There is one in particular that is uh, extra rare, and I also have that one, so I'll show it to you after we grab this. Um, we'll see what kind of egg we get. 
so 50,000 uh, shells. I have quite a few, so <laughs> we're good to go. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see what we get. Uh, I think I just got the regular one. Let me go and check. Um, it might be a different variation from just the regular one. I'm not sure, but, um, let's hatch it. Why not, right? Let's do it. Actually, yeah, let's hatch it. Let's see what comes out. Alright. One, two, three... All right, so I believe this actually is the base Vaporos that I designed, the, the, the normal variation of it. And as you can see, it's got little bubbles around it. It's a really cute. I like the design. I don't know if you guys do, but I really hope you do because I worked really hard on it. Um, it's probably one of my favorite dragon sets that I've seen so far. Um, yeah, I really like it. It's got like the fin details on like the cheeks and the neck area, the legs and the tail and the back. It's got these little pearls on the ears, the little horns and the swirly. Um, also when it's... Let me see if I can make it do it. Yeah, bubbles come out of its mouth. It's so cute. Right, and then the palette. Let's take a look at the palette. This is the palette for this one. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the base one. It might not be. But, yeah. So it's got a very oceany palette that you can choose from. And, yeah, I'm really happy with it. And I hope that you guys really like it too. That is the Vaporos dragon egg. And I'm gonna just save him here. Or her. Oh, it's a little girl. How cute. And now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna grab another egg because in the next video I'm gonna do a giveaway for one of these. So let's see what kind of egg it's gonna be for the giveaway. Oh look at that! It's a different variation. You know which one that is? Oh, well, we'll never know because I can't hatch it. <laughs> It's going to be given away to one of you guys. It's different from this one here. Ah, get out of the way. There we go. It's different from this one, as you can see. Like, colors are slightly different. It's not the extra rare one. I will show you the extra rare one in a second. I'm going to hatch it so you can see. But this one's going to be for a giveaway. Um, this one I'm going to keep right here. And, yeah, let's go and get that rare one. The extra rare one. Here it is. Right here. It's nice and purple. Look at that. Beautiful. Alright. So. Let's hatch it. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? Let me know. Let's do it. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I love this one. I specifically wanted this palette in because it's so nice. Let's actually really quickly change the shadow color so you can see it better. Let's make it like a dark purple. Yeah, sure, that looks good. Oof, it's so good. Look at that. Beautiful. I wanted to specifically have a more like purple pink one. And, um,. The rest of them are pretty much like a blue-green type of variation, but this one specifically is like purple and pink. So that's why it's extra rare. If you get the purple one, it's very rare. There's a very small chance of getting it. So, consider yourself lucky if you get it. I'm very, very pleased with it. How cute is that? Let's take some pictures. <laughs> That's enough of that. <laughs> and that one is also a female. I'll probably change the gender of the blue one so that they can breed later. But yeah, those are the dragons, the Vaporos dragons, and this one will be for the giveaway next video. 
so you'll be really excited to get that, I'm sure. Keep an eye out for that video. And, um, yeah, I guess that's... I think that's the end of the video. I'm not sure if there's anything else I'm missing. If there is something missing, I can't really think of it. There will be another video if I did miss something. So, yeah, the next video will be a giveaway. And I'm really happy you guys are enjoying this. I'm so, so happy. Um, yeah, that's it. Adventure mode is out. If you want to get cool stuff, go fishing, all that, you go through that little door to the right. That's all you do. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn the little notification thing on. You'll see more videos of adventure mode themed stuff for the rest of the month. See you guys in the next video for the giveaway. Goodbye.